Goal journal. From my point of view, that's one of the most important things what you need to do to track and measure your goals, what you want to accomplish and what you want to achieve for your life is something what can be done, measured. You know, you can do it properly and people who are doing something, they are not talking about these things, they are taking action, they are doing something. And from my point of view, the most important thing for achieving your goals and doing more in your life is you need a goal journal. A goal journal, let me show you, that is something like that, okay? This book here, okay, that I take, I carry with me all the time. You can buy a smaller one. For me, I like this size because I'm writing a lot of things inside. And in this book, just write every day what you want to accomplish for these days. Write down goals, you know, your goals, what you want to do. These goals they are also reminders in the same time because using reminders is also very important. How you can manage your day, how you can see if you get your things done, if you don't write them down, you will forget them, you know? And write down, I recommend you guys to write down every day three goals, three things what you want to accomplish for today. And start with simple things, you know? I see many guys, they're asking me sometimes like, yes, no, but how to start? What to write down? You know, what is my first thing, what I'm writing down? I don't know where to start and how, what I write in my book. So what you write in your book can be simple things, you know. You can write things down like um, simple, simple goals, like staying on track with my meals the, an entire day, you know. And that you do every day. This is a goal because we're going to split our goals in three different sections. We're going to make like short-term goals. Okay, long term goals. Okay, what you need long time short is what you do immediately making a coffee. Every time when you wake up, I make my coffee, I make my breakfast. That's a short term goal, you know, you make it, it's done. Long term goals is something what you work on that long time to achieve something else. Okay, and you can do also one time goals, you know, what you want to do one time only. So you have different kind of goals what you can write down. And I recommend you always to make a mix in between a small a short-term goal, a long-term goal, you know, and something what you accomplish once you put it always there to see it all the time until you accomplish that. You can write down, stay on track with my meals. You can write down exercising every second day or if I don't have time using the body time method because it takes just 20 minutes once a week. But I tell you one thing, if you are comfortable and you don't write the things down that you see after one year, you can see and go back. And the first day, I was writing that down and I marked them up. I did it. On the second day, I write these things down. I marked them up. I did it. And you can see, you know, imagine every day three things. After one year, you have more than 1,000 things accomplished. Let me ask you a question just right now. How many things you get done, you accomplish in the last year? Because you didn't write them down. You see, you even don't know how many things it was. And for sure, I promise you one thing. It was not 1,000 things. Okay, so let me give you more examples about what personally I suggest you to write down to start your career and to achieve more in your life. Write my four basics for success. You know, drinking water, hydrate your body and your brain every single day. Eating healthy. What means <clears throat> every three hours you're eating just meat, vegetables and drink just water and that five times a, week, a day, you know, every three hours. Stay on track with your meals. It's doable. It's easy. The next thing what you write down is exercising. You need to exercise that you keep your body and mind in balance, you know, a strong mind and a strong body, as I tell you all the time. And that's going to make you perform and getting ideas more and more and write your goals down. And if you write that goals down, you know, it's like, you have mini goals, you have big goals, and every single goal that we hit, that is one step further to our success path, you know? See it like that, it's a path to success, you know? And we are laying bricks on that path. And every brick that we lie, one more and one more, we come to our goal, to our success closer. So write them all down and go through them and fix them every day, every day. And if you don't reach your goals today, you can see in your book what I was writing yesterday. I don't make them all yesterday. You can do it today. And you can surpass today, yesterday, you know. You can go ahead and make the things better. 
Okay, the goals what we write down, as I told you before, drinking, eating, exercising, okay, properly every day. And the last thing is, and this is the most important thing, our brain, because that brain makes us successful, that brain makes us wealthy, that brain makes us to accomplish more in our life. So we need to train that brain, and the training of the brain is very simple. You train your brain by using your brain. So learn every day something, then you have new knowledge, and knowledge is power. And if you learn something, you train your brain in the same time. So you do training and learning and going ahead in the same time, and it's fun. You can take your time every day in the morning, a couple of minutes, 10, 20, 30 minutes learning something before going to bed. Take your time learning something. Spend one hour of your day. You have 24 hours every day, guys. Spend one hour for yourself to achieve and to learn new things, you know. That's so important. Do that and you will see how you will lie more and more bricks on that path to success and you're going to accomplish more and more for your life.